gosh, I'm glad it didn't take him long. Me too. It should be Doc Spaulding. How is he, Marty? He's still unconscious, I'm afraid. Glad you're here, Doc. Thank you. We think he had a bad fall. Marty said his horse threw him. We believe that's what happened. No one saw it. We found him like this. He must have been out for some time. Think he'll be all right? Oh, yes, I think so. Shock, mostly. Doesn't seem to be any concussion. We're sure glad to hear that. Perkins, can you give me a glass of water, please? Yes. Yes, Doctor. Markham kids hide. Ain't got no better sense than a cow. Come on, boy. Seems to be coming out of it now. Feeling better, son? Huh? I feel kind of woozy. Well, no wonder. That was quite a spill you took, young fellow. Spill? Yes, you took a header off that horse of yours. Gave us old folks quite a scare. Oh, yeah. I remember. I was so mad. I, I didn't know where I was going. I had an argument with Marty. Don't think about that now, Spin. I'm sure Marty realizes he spoke out of turn. Wasn't his fault. He didn't know I was learning how to dance. Well, maybe next time you two young roosters won't be so anxious to fly at each other's throat. Look, son, I want you to rest now. I'm going to leave some medicine with Jim, and by tomorrow morning, you should be practically yourself again. Decided he's fine. Just has to take it easy for a day or two. Can I see him now? Not now, son. He has to rest, and I have to make some more calls. You look as if you could do a little rest yourself, Marty. I'm okay, Bill. Boy, everybody's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm too. I think you better call Spins folks, Doc. You know them better than I do. Okay, Jim. I'll call them as soon as I get back to the office. I uh, wouldn't alarm them unnecessarily. Well, there's no reason why they should be alarmed. He took a nasty spill, but he's a tough little nut. A couple of days rest, he'll be back on his feet and raring to go. Oh, uh, Dr. Spaulding, I, uh, I don't think it's necessary that you tell him about the quarrel between him and Marty. <laughs> That's your problem, not mine. I just patch up their bodies, not their squabbles. Thanks, Doc. Oh, uh, keep him quiet, and I'll check with you tomorrow. Good. Night, Doc. Good night. Take night. Care. I guess we're lucky at that, Bill. Sure are. Could have been really serious. 
Yeah, it's been quite a night. I think I'll break open the kitchen and put on a pot of coffee. Say, I could do with a cup myself. <laughs> oh. Well, where is he? Well, he was right here. Well, he's not here now. Where is he? Golly, maybe he ran away. Doggone you. Didn't I tell you to get one of the other kids to do it? Well, I can do it. I was doing it. Always trying to be a big shot, aren't you? Always got to do everything yourself. Ollie, where's Skyrocket? What do you care? What do you mean, Ollie? Leaving him standing out here in the night air, soaking wet, not even putting a blanket on him. You ought to have better sense. Gosh, I'm sorry, Ollie, but I gave him to... Sorry, huh? Well, don't blame me if he gets pneumonia. Pneumonia? How many times do I have to tell you guys to cool off your horses when you come in from a run? Well, well, where is he? Well, I put him in the barn and gave him a good rub down. Gosh, thanks, Ollie. Now, go on, get. I've had about enough of you wild Indians for one night. And next time, young feller, you stay in bed. Yes, sir. Now, go on, get, the both of you. Pretty sick horse, Poe. Wheezing pretty bad, too. He must have caught cold, huh? Don't take long once they get overheated. <sighs> he won't die, will he? Pretty sick horse. Doctor, huh? I think maybe we better. I'll go call him. Take it easy. We'll take care of you. We'll fix you up. Don't go on that little moochie. Morning, Doc. I'm sorry to get you up so early, but I'm afraid we got a pretty sick horse on our hands. Darn kids didn't give him a rub down when they come in last night. He was pretty hot and sweaty. Let's take a look at him. Easy, easy. Hey, doesn't look 
Very good. Pneumonia, Doc? I'm afraid so. Oh, no. Well, it's just starting. You think you can check it? I'll do my best, Ali, but you know that pneumonia's kind of tricky. We can do more now than we used to be able to. I'll give a shot. Gosh, I hope Spin's all right this morning. You and me both. Think they'll let us see him? We heard what the doc said. All he needs is a little rest. Maybe you'd like me to read to him. Say, do you think he'd like to see my collection of specimens? Nah, who wants to look at a bunch of slimy old toads and things? Toads are not slimy. They're amphibious, of course, but they have dry, smooth skin. Any naturalist knows that. You know, that's quite a trick, to have a dry, smooth skin while you're still in the water. I mean when they're out of the water. No kidding. <laughs> Gosh, Marty must have got up awful early. Moochie's not here either. You know, those guys must have a lot of ambition to get up so early. You'd think after being up so late last night, they'd want to get a little extra shut eye. I'm still tired. You're always tired. I think you were born tired. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so you're awake. <laughs> you don't expect a guy to sleep with all that yakking, do you? How do you feel? I'm fine. Think you'd stand a little breakfast? Oh, could I? I'm starved. What would you like to have? Oh, a glass of orange juice, some ham and eggs, a couple pieces of toast, maybe, a little oatmeal, hot cakes. Oh, wait just a minute there. Well, I told you I was starved. Well, I know, that's good, but I'm not so sure that Doc Spaulding would recommend such a hefty breakfast after that spill you took last night. Yeah, that sure was a crazy stunt I pulled. Well, I've heard of better ways of settling arguments. Tell you what I'll do, I'll get Sam to fix you up something real special. How's that? Fine. Good. Thanks, Mr. Logan. Morning, Jim. Morning, Bill. Isn't that the vet's car over there? It sure looks like it. Wonder what he's doing here. I don't know. There's not much else you can do, Ollie, except keep him warm. Hello, Doc. What are you doing here? I called him, Mr. Logan. Skyrocket has pneumonia. Pneumonia? Yeah. Uh, he got a chill last night, and the excitement about spending them kids forgot to cool him off. Oh, no. I was just giving him a shot. I'll be back later today and give him another one. It's pretty effective, usually. I sure hope so. Skyrocket's one of my best horses. I know he is, Mr. Logan. I hope we can pull him out of it. This is a fine kettle of fish. Do the youngsters know about it? Just Marty. He heard him whinnying early this morning. He's in there with him now. So long, Doc. Bye. He's awful sick, Mr. Logan. I know, Marty, but don't get too upset. Doc Bradley is one of the best vets in the state. If anybody can pull him through, he can. Gee, I hope so. Oh, boy. Easy, boy. Easy now. Oh, boy. He'll be all right. Marty should have rubbed him down. He knows better than to leave a horse like that. You can't blame it on Marty. He was all excited about spin. Besides, he could have got one of us to do it, couldn't he? Yeah. All he had to do was ask us. Poor old Skyrocket. Sure was a tough break. Hey, Moochie, what's the matter? You're not eating your breakfast. I am not hungry. What's the matter with him? Beats me. Good morning, Master Spin. I brought you some breakfast, sir. 
I'm good. I'm as hungry as a wolf. Well, then, here's a wolf-sized breakfast for you, sir. Orange juice, fresh fruit, oatmeal, ham and eggs sunny side up with some of my special home fried potatoes, nice crisp toast, a large glass of milk, and some of your favorite raspberry jelly, sir. There, have I got everything? Oh, looks pretty good, Perky. Thank you, sir. I say, it's too bad about old Skyrocket, sir. Skyrocket? What about him? Oh, didn't you hear, sir? He's, he's quite ill. Oh, yeah? Well, how come? He was okay yesterday. I know, sir, but you see, last night, after they found you, Master Marty rode him so fast back here in order to telephone the doctor that he became quite overheated. And then, in all the commotion about you, he forgot to rub him down. Gee, that's too bad. Is he very sick? I'm afraid so, sir. The vet said it was pneumonia. Pneumonia? Gee. That must be pretty tough on Marty, huh? Quite, sir. Quite. Oh, it's a terrible shame. Here you are, sir. Here's your orange juice. Finn, it's good to see you up. How do you feel? Fine. Okay for me to go back to the bunkhouse now? Sure, Doc Spaulding says you're fit as a fiddle. Good thing you've got a tough noggin. Yeah, I'll say. Say, how's, how's Skyrocket? Not so good, Spin. You mean he's worse? I'm afraid he's not going to make it. Gee, that's too bad. The vet's done all he can for him, but uh, he doesn't hold out much hope. Poor Marty. We haven't told him yet, so uh, don't say anything. No. Come on, Skyrocket. Just a little. You gotta eat, Skyrocket, or you won't get well. You gotta get your strength back. Come on, just a little, please. It's no use, Polo. He's too sick to eat. <laughs> He's gonna die, isn't he? <laughs> you can't die. I won't let you. Change? No, Mr. Logan. Think he'll last till morning? It's hard to say. He's pretty weak. Sorry. Yeah. Sure is a tough break. Yeah. 
Marty, now look where I was going. If I hadn't taken that spill, none of this would have happened. Just as much my fault as anybody else's. If taking the blame would cure him, son, that horse would be on his feet in five minutes. Let me know if there's any change. Skyrocket, old boy. I'm gonna fix you up a mess of old grandpappy's whorehound syrup. May not do you any good, but it won't do you any harm. Don't fix them up, nothing else will. Cured all the grandpappy's horses and mules, and a couple of his wives. There you are, Skyrocket, old boy. May not help you any, but it'll make you sleep a lot easier. Yippee-yay, yippee-yay. 